Hi guys, so I just finished my installation. My client today wants crinkly, curly end braids. Um, for those who are new to my channel, thank you for joining. And for those who are consistent, thank you um, for being consistent. So she wants crinkly braids and she also wants curly ends. So we're going to we'll be braiding the braids and then using these blue curling rods on the end to give her curl and braids. Okay, so. Long, I'm going to use four to five braids to braid. Get that crinkly look, and then we're going to put the curling, the blue curling rods on the end of the braids to get that curly end look. one and continue that all the way through You want to braid all the way down, measure where you started curling so all of your curls can be at the same place. If you want a more layered look on the curls, then you do not have to bring it all the way down to where the other, um, the back ones are. You can always um, Stop it a little higher so the curls will be kind of layered, but we're gonna bring it all the way down for this look today. The braids are all equal in length, so we shouldn't have a problem. If your braids are not, then you will have a problem um, with where you will curl. Regarding how far up we start our braid depends on how deep you can get the the hair dipped into the water because obviously if the if the braided part cannot reach the water it will not be um, curled 
So that all depends, of course. You want to be mindful of that. What what exactly are you using to dip the client's head? Braid then curl, braid then curl all the way through. And when you're braiding, you wanna the tighter your braids, the more crinkled the whip the tighter your plaits, the more crinkled the braids will be. So you wanna keep that in mind too. If you just want a loose crinkle look, you can just braid them not too tight. But my client really loves curls. So we're going all the way in.
saves the best for last. Oh, God, just show it off. That's the way he does it.